Well, that ends an 8-0 run by the East. Here's Wade going at Nash. Lost the handle. And then able to recover to get it to Bosch. Rebound, Yao Bing. Here's Iverson with Kid back. Goes right at him. And uh, Anthony not able to control. Watch this fadeaway by LeBron. Now look where he takes off. And look how far he drifts. Look at his shoulders get square to the target. Beautiful rotation. He knocks the shot down. And this one, he just goes up and beautifully just drops the ball in the basket. LeBron James, is uh, the West tried to make a little push, a couple back-to-back -back baskets to, to continue to give them a 12-point uh, lead. And substitutions. Joe Johnson of the Hawks checks in along with a couple of Celtics. Paul Pierce and uh, Ray Allen. Just under six and a half to play in this third quarter. The East up 91-79. Looked like uh, one of the substitutions was waived as uh, Rasheed Wallace and Antoine Jameson also trying to come in. And Bosch went to the bench and was called back. Pierce trying to use the pick. Now the lob and Bosch scores again. 14 points for Bosch. On the turnover, here's Allen. Little hesitation move, yes, and it counts. Ray Allen will head to the line. Well, to the delight of Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen coming up with the steal. Keeps the ball in transition with the little fake behind the back. Gets it to the teeth of the defense. Chance to go to the line and one. And to the delight of Paul Pierce, when they got the fifth pick in the draft, they knew they couldn't get a young player to keep rebuilding. They get Ray Allen, and then that excites Kevin Garnett to go to Boston with uh, a trade for Al Jefferson, a triple young player, and the expiring contract of Theo Ratliff. So how quickly things change for Boston uh, around draft time. Nash, yes. 95-81. The East on top. They have led all the way. Marv Albert, Reggie Miller, Doug Collins for in New Orleans. Pierce about to reach in on Nash for the dribble. Carlos Boozer back on the floor play by Rasheed Wallace and Boozer from deep. That's a little bit out of his range. Carlos, a terrific, terrific shooter up to about 18 feet. That was uh, two steps behind that. Boozer now has 10. His Chris Paul will just check back in. You saw the behind the back maneuver. And now he delivers to Carmelo Anthony. And this is where Chris Paul is at his best. When you get him in the open court where he has vision and he has finishers like Carmelo Anthony for the Hornets, the best record in the West. Allen with a quick release for three. The second best three, th three point shooter in the history of the NBA. And Marv, we're sitting by the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony lays it home. Shameless plug, Coach. Shameless plug. But thank you. I got to take care of my man. 11-point East lead. Wallace attempting the three. So the ball back to the West. It's 24 three-point attempts from the Eastern Conference. Nice moves by Chris Paul of the hometown. New Orleans Hornets and picks up another assist. Guys, a programming reminder, national coverage of the NBA continues Wednesday on ESPN. It's the Lakers and the Suns. Perhaps we'll see Shaq's debut as a member of the Suns. And Thursday on TNT, the Heat and the Rockets fought about the Sonics and the Blazers. Coverage beginning at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And now tonight's Collins Look Ahead, presented by Heineken earlier. We heard from you regarding the West, now the East. Well, will the Pistons continue to trust their bench? All the starters' minutes are down. Bench points up over 30 a game over the last 10 games. They've won all of those. One of the areas they've been really struggling with since they won the championship is getting the better bench. Is 4 through 12 good enough in Boston? Are they going to add another player before the deadline? And mediocrity rules. <laughs> Only five teams above 500 this season. Still a lot of teams in the hunt. Atlanta makes the deal for Mike Bibby, hoping that he can get them into the playoffs. 
Uh, here is Boozer as we resume, and it's rebounded by Allen. We were talking about it uh, the other night in our Dallas uh, Phoenix telecast. In the East, if a team has a night off, there's a good chance they can pick up ground, yeah, which they is go, unfortunate. They go from 10th to 7th. Well, it's funny. Byron Scott said, I, I saw a team lose two games in a row and picked up a game. <laughs> that too, yes. <laughs> David West blocked by Rasheed Wallace. West blocked now by Antoine Jamison. West blocked by Rasheed Wallace. Can't you get a home whistle? You're I mean, not kidding me. <laughs> but it's the hat trick, unfortunately, for David West, who was trying to get the shot off, and they were contesting. Well, David West right here. Looks like he's in the land of the Giants right here. You would think first inaugural game here on the home court, he would get a call underneath. And then at the other end, they just shoved Chris Paul into the partition. Where's the love for the hometown guys? <laughs> Ball goes back to the West. Three and a half to play in this third quarter. The East up by 11. Here's Nash racing and able to score. Steve Nash is... Kabadi now has eight points. Razzle dazzle. Now you got Paul and Nash out there together. Just don't blink if you're the Eastern Conference because the passes are going to be whizzing up the floor. The West has gone to a smaller lineup trying to work themselves back into this game with some speed. And the West showing some defense. The ball slapped away from Pierce and last touched by Pierce. There's Paul with a nice move. Nash. Three guard. Alignment now being utilized by Byron Scott. West again gets inside, and this time able to lay it in. So the Eastern Conference lead is down to seven. Wallace for three. Brandon Roy on the rebound. Paul, Roy, and Nash. Three guards on the floor. Nash delivers. Nice play as he gets it to Boozer. And it's being set up perfectly here for the fourth quarter. Last eight or ten minutes, this game is going to be in the balance. Nine assists now for Paul. Oh, a little flip shot, a reverse by Ray Allen. It's a 14-5 run here by the West. Allen with the steal. Try to put a move on Paul. Allen and Johnson now in the backcourt with Pierce, Jamison, and Wallace up front. Here's Allen to the rim. 102-93, the East with the lead. Nash, Paul, passed out of three. Nash for three. Rebounded by Paul, gets it right back. 